Kenneth Follett's, for Follett's, capital T at the ends, Pillars of the Earth. Hello, I'm Brian McLeod. Join me as we take a trip back through time using extensive research. We are going to find out what it was like back before Maggie Thatcher f fucking ruined everything. Exactly, that's what I learned at school anyway. Everything was great and then... This is Pillars of the Earth, it's a point and click adventure game, you can play it on Steam and it's fucking beautiful. It looks like a 70s, maybe early 80s British animation. It reminds me of things like the BFG and things like that. Very cosy. Always good when you remember things, you know, from your childhood, it's always a good hook. Reminds me of lying on a Sunday afternoon in bed as some unbelievably English, no offence, radio play is playing in the background and I'm not particularly enjoying it but it's nice and cosy, that's what it reminds me of. History, art, cosy, hit me, here we go. Salted fish all day, me neither. Salted, big, big shout out to salted fish there, you really do learn something new every day, absolutely, what a time to be alive if you think about it. To be able to explore the lives of uh, history back well, in the day. <clears throat> also, they make a remarkable what? cheese oh. in St. John's. Fucking cheese? What the end, man? Mate, that's just a fucking game with monks talking. It's not even got graphics, it's just pictures. This is Echo, it's on Steam as well. But it's a real game, and there's a big eyeball. That's the menu system, that's beautiful in it, and that's what draws me in. I'm not ashamed to tell you that that is what draws me in. It is beautiful. And you look at the trailers, and you've got the action, and you've got the slick graphics, and that's what draws me in, because that's what I'm all about. As you know, small development team that made Echo, so this doesn't feel good any time I have to do this. They've hired the Ginger Lasso at Game of Thrones to do the voiceover. She's a good looking girl. And because they've got this established actress in to give their game a little bit of profile, they've obviously went after fucking heed and they've written tons and tons and tons of cringe and juicing lines for it to read out and she sounds totally bored out of her fucking nut. Like she's not even acting. She's just doing that breathy thing that sounds as if she's putting emphasis on things, but she does it over absolutely every word that she's saying. She's just turned up and she's just reading the script. I get no ghosts when the lights are out. So my guess is that the palace is blind while it's rebooting. When the lights come back on, their abilities match my actions from the previous light cycle. That's her explaining the concept of the game. You've arrived in this space station type mysterious thing that looks a bit like the room from 2001 and the concept is that when the lights are on, the structure is watching you and learning from the actions that you take and in the next cycle, these enemies, these echoes, are going to mimic the things that you've done, like I'm opening a door here, so he, the, the room has now seen me open the door, and in the next light cycle, they fuckers will be able to go through doors. It sounds like a good concept, doesn't it? But, but it's just rooms. The game is just rooms, because I watched the trailers, and it looked like mad Q CQC stuff was happening, it looked action-packed, but I actually just ran about shoving cunts. I just shoved cunts, and until the last like 40 minutes of the game, there's only one type of fucking enemy. These things show up like 40 minutes before. How, how did he not notice me? How did that not notice me? These things show up, you're like an hour, an hour and a half into the game, you're going, where are the boss fights? Are you seriously telling me that I'm going to get to the end of this game, and there's only going to be one boss fight at the end? Well, put that out of your mind, because... There isn't even a boss fight at the end of the fucking game. The game just fucking ends. So you wander in these rooms, these empty fucking rooms, supposedly doing stealth, but actually just shoving everybody out of your way. And then nothing happens at the end, and it just ends. You know why the footage in this review is so boring? Because the game is so boring, so repetitive. Why is it known? I don't know how to make a game, but why is it known the checklist of things that you make sure you're doing? Does it look good? Yes. Is it original? Kinda, aye. Is it fun to play? Oh, shit, no. Oh. 
Oh, well, two out of three isn't bad. Now shove it up your space ass. I'm going to wait to find out about this monk cheese. <laughs> <laughs>